Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I'm going to be filming my October favorites. It has been a whole month for a new round of favorites. So yeah, with that being said, let's just jump straight into my October favorites. So I'm gonna go in the order of the way I apply my makeup. So the first product that I wanna share with you guys is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So I have been using this primer pretty much every single day since I've gotten it. I use it underneath my makeup and also when I go to work and I don't wear any like base makeup I'll just wear this on its own just to give my skin a very healthy dewy glass like finish I do like the pretty fresh tinted moisturizer but it's not like a favorite favorite like I'll use it I like it but honestly I would just rather go out in public without any foundation, you know what I mean? Even though I have oily skin, I like using more hydrating primers. I just like using this as a primer, as just a hydrating, almost moisturizer. Super affordable. You can see I've actually used quite a lot in like the three, four weeks I've had it. So yeah, this definitely has been a favorite of the month. Next favorite, I actually have two pair of contact lenses that I have been wearing a lot and I have been loving. I did do like a whole dedicated video to the Blackpink Times Overlands contact lens. My favorite is obviously Spanish Grey. I love that one. That was just the first lens that I used and I love it on my eyes. But these two have been a favorite of mine. I'm actually not wearing either of them today. I'm actually wearing a different lens from a different brand that I got sent and I'm just like, trying it out. So yeah, I'm not wearing it today, but you guys will see it in the clips. The first one I want to mention is Spanish Brown. And in my black pink contact lens video, I did say that Spanish Brown kind of looked a little bit creepy on me. But after using it more and more, I actually love it so, so much. I think it just enhances my natural brown eyes a little bit. It makes it slightly lighter with a pretty pattern, a very natural pattern. I'm actually down to my last pairs. So I'm just like saving this for a, an occasion. Asian. I don't want to like waste it. I want to repurchase these but I have so many contact lenses that I just need to get through all of them before making another order because I don't need any more. I've also actually been liking Island Grey. I really like grey contacts on my eyes. I don't know. I think it just gives me a different vibe. I think the Island Grey, I would describe it to be like a Spanish grey on steroids. It kind of gives you that similar grey tones but the pattern on the Island is much more, I guess, dramatic and it's also a little bit bigger than the Spanish line. So if you wanted the Spanish grey, just more enhanced, like more dramatic, then the Island Grey is very pretty. I've actually been wearing this quite a lot because it is a monthly pack. I can just, you know, wear as much as I want for a month. But these have been a favorite. I've been wearing these the most in the past month or so. And for the next couple of favorites, I just want to kind of skim through all of them all just because I did do a whole dedicated review on them. And that is the ColourPop Baby Got Peach collection. I have the palette, a bronzer, a blush, as well as the brown liquid liner as a favorite for today's video. I have been wearing the peach collection like literally for the whole month anytime that I wear makeup and I'm not filming I reach for the peach palette the blushes the brown liner I am wearing the eyeshadow palette on my eyes today as well as the bronzer in the shade perka I really like the blush in the shade fresh and peachy it just pairs very nicely a very nice everyday blush as well as the BFF liquid liner in the shade grande I have been waiting for a brown liquid liner and honestly I probably use this maybe 80% of the month. I just love the tone. I think for these kind of looks, brown liner is just much more suitable. It's more softer and subtle. So I'm not going to say any more because I did a whole review on it and I raved about it in that video. So just know that I have been using this all month and I'm going to continue using it. I love it. Wearing literally all of these products on my face today. For my next favorite, I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So we now actually have Morphe in New Zealand, like in stores. Before purchasing online with Morphe wasn't a big deal because they have an Australian site because before you couldn't actually purchase this online because it's an aerosol can so they couldn't ship it so now that like we can buy it I can finally use it and see what everybody is raving about first off I don't really use setting sprays too often because typically when I put my makeup on I film and then I don't really go out anywhere so I don't want to waste setting spray you know what I mean like there's no reason for me to set my face because I'm not gonna go anywhere. I don't need it to last the whole day. But there are days where I do go out, I do leave my home, I would use this and it does really lock in your makeup. It looks like nothing has changed and this is probably the best setting spray that I've used because of the 
nozzle and the mist it's the most fine you can ensure that this setting spray is not going to ruin your makeup after you finish your whole routine you know setting sprays are the tricky thing because once you've done your whole makeup this is the last step and it can ruin your makeup when there's a big blob of water just on your face so this doesn't give you that it's super super fine probably the most finest mist that I've used and it's probably my most favorite one to use and for my next favorite I have a perfume this is my new signature perfume if you ever meet me in person this is what I'm gonna smell like I typically don't spray perfume like ever because Harry doesn't like a lot of like heavy perfume it smells too strong for him so I'm like with him like every minute of my life so I don't want to like give him a headache I should tell you what it is first right this is the Jo Malone London Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne I actually went to Jo Malone to look for a gift for my friend for her birthday and I got her a candle and a body lotion some kind of cream in this scent because I fell in love with the scent and I was like raving about it to her and then my other friend got me this like for no reason just because I love the scent so much I guess she just wanted to get it for me I just love the scent it just smells so fresh like it almost low-key smells like a bathroom spray but like a bougie bathroom spray you know I want to do this thing that every time when I travel I know Kathleen Lice does this kind of got the idea from her every time I travel I want to get like a different perfume and it will just take me back to that time and place because this perfume is always going to remind me of where I am right now. A lot of the Jo Malone perfumes smell very very strong and very musky and like I don't know but this one smells very young, very fresh. Go smell it, let me know what you guys think of it. I just love it so much and Harry likes it. Um, he doesn't think it's overpowering so if Harry likes a perfume, then you know it's a nice, refreshing perfume. And for my last favorite today, of course, I have to mention my third son, Cookie Dough, Cookie Monster. He's actually right here. I'll record for you guys. You probably can't see him. Like, Tabina is there. And he's, like, on the other side of the curtain just soaking up the sun. And they're, like, back to back. They're, like, best friends. But, yeah, I, of course, I have to mention Cookie Dough. And I want to mention my other Instagram account. Okay, who am I? I have three Instagram accounts. I did make an Instagram account for Rocky, Tubby, and Cookie. They are all sharing an Instagram account. And if you guys didn't know, I also have a film account. So I have my main makeup account, which is the account that I will reply to messages on and just I follow everybody on. And then I have a film account, which is a little bit more personal. And I upload all of my developed films. And then I have their cat account. But yeah, Cookie is a beautiful addition to our family. I know I haven't really explained what happened and like why we got cookie and I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me tomorrow so uh, I'm gonna like explain all of that cookies story I don't want to make this video too long because it's already super long all right guys so that is going to conclude my October favorites thank you for watching this entire video and I'm glad you made it to the end because I have a little secret giveaway I think at the end of September or the beginning of October we actually hit 80k on this channel and that just blows my mind. I cannot believe that we're almost at 100k. I have been doing YouTube I think for four years now. I think my first video uploaded was in 2017 and although I didn't really find my niche and what I wanted to do on this channel until probably two years ago. I've been doing it for a while. I feel like a lot of you guys probably don't know that I've been doing it for a while. My growth has been quite slow if you want to compare I know we shouldn't compare but like it's been quite slow and you know sometimes it's very hard to just keep pushing on and try to pursue this one day I want to tell you guys how much I gave up to do this and how much crap I've gotten from people to just pursue what I would love to do. So it really means a lot hitting 80K and it's hard to believe that I'm almost at 100K because you get something for that. You get something for that milestone. I always wanna give my thanks back to you guys. So every time we hit a milestone, I always do a giveaway. So this giveaway is for people that actually watch my videos and stay till the end. So 
it's a little secret giveaway. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the products. I'm just going to insert a clip over here, an overview of everything that's going to be in this 80k giveaway. I'll also write all of the prizes down below as well as the rules. But pretty much, you just got to be subscribed to my channel. You got to be following me on Instagram, just my main Instagram. If you want to be nice and follow my other Instagram accounts, that'd be cool too. But you don't have to. Just follow my main Instagram account. And all you got to do is just comment down below, comment anything down below, and just leave your Instagram handle down below because that's how I will be contacting you. Any additional rules will be in my description box down below but if you have entered any of my past giveaways it will be exactly the same thing. But yeah I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 80k, for everything, your love, your support. Sometimes I feel like a broken record for telling you guys thank you, thank you, thank you but I really do appreciate it because I know my videos are not the most like funnest videos to watch. I feel like reviews are probably the last videos that people want to watch now Days, especially in the makeup industry people want to see like crazy trends and nobody really wants to watch favorites or review videos and my reviews are so long so in-depth that I feel like literally nobody cares and the fact that you guys are excited to see it and want to watch it it really 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 makes my day so I want to say thank you um, hopefully you guys like the prizes that is it for today's video I have been rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this video all rules will be down below but yeah thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!